Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. My name's Soleil and I garden in a zone 5B in Min, Michigan. And we are outside today getting some of our fall cleanup done. So I'm excited to take you along. We are actually in the midst of blowing leaves. We're gonna get the lawn mowed. We are going to shred, uh, shred some leaves so that we can use it as mulch in the garden. And we'll see what other kind of things we can get into. We're gonna to try to close the fountain as well today. So we're gonna to try to cram in as much as we possibly can before the week starts. So here you can see a glorious pile of autumn leaves that have been, you know, kind of put into an area that we will be easily able to push our leaf shredder over. And that's what we're going to show you today. I've got a lot of questions about what the machine is that we use. So we'll show you that real quick and we will show you how it operates. Let's get going. All right, voila, here is the Troy Built 3-in-1. This is a tripper chipper shredder and vacuum all in one and it has a vacuum hose included that you can pull off and you can use that to get into your areas which is very helpful in garden beds but uh, you can also just push this like a lawnmower and it will suck up the leaves and it chops them up and shreds them and throws them into this bag and then they are yours to use as you wish. It also has this lovely little chipper right here that you can stick uh, sticks into and it will chop those up as well. And so this has been a handy dandy tool for us for several years now. And we actually got this on Facebook Marketplace. It was probably, I don't know, close to seven or $800 new, but we got it for around, I think 125 or 150 off of Facebook Marketplace. And it looked like it had barely been used. In fact, it definitely looks a lot more used since we've got it <laughs> than it did when we started. So um, this is gas powered and we will have a pull start engine and we'll show you exactly how it works.
So you can see how much that just cleaned up, like a huge pile, shredded it up. And it's super fluffy right now, but this will actually compress even further. And that's just one garden cart. So we'll be able to fill this garden cart all the way after we scoop up the rest of these leaves. So as you can tell, that's really a pretty quick way to get your leaves cleaned up. We now have a really nice garden cart full of mulched leaves that I can use throughout my garden beds. And I'm going to be using some of these in the Wayback Garden because the soil back there is still very, very heavy clay. And I think it can use some more organic matter to help. And I know this tool is not for everyone because it is rather large, but I will tell you I am only five feet tall. I know you can't see me in person, but I'm a very small person and I can actually push it myself. Uh, so it's something that women can use on their own. Uh, I would highly recommend not overfilling the bag if you are using it on your own because then it can become a little bit heavy or a little bit too bulky to be able to use on your own and it's helpful to have another person if you do it that way but otherwise you can do it on your own. So I hope that this was helpful for all of you who had questions about that particular tool. So here we are in the beautiful sun-dappled Wayback Garden. We have our load of leaf mulch that my hubby dragged back here for me. Thank you so much. And I just want to show you, we came through here and did a few additional plantings. And that's why I really want to get them mulched in. So I did end up planting my Queen of Hearts Brunnera right in here. 
And then I have a Cordialis here, which is also referred to as Meadow Rue. And then I planted a Himalayan Maiden Hair Fern, which is really beautiful. Now, I don't know how well this will do back here. It does like moisture quite a bit and the soil is very thick. So this is one of the ones, again, that I really wanna make sure I get mulched well. So I'm also going to ensure that we get these mulched well because I did put another uh, gold Jurassic fern here. That's a new one and it coincides with the other one over here. So I think that's gonna make a really nice and beautiful area as this fills in. But we really do need to get the soil enhancing and coming alive. So let's get to it. Well, we have laid down all of the leaf mulch now. So I just kind of want to take you through the garden and show you what that looks like now that it is in place because I think it looks beautiful. And what I have done is put just a couple of inches and it may look rather fluffy right now, but that's okay because there is some air that is mixed into the leaves when they are being chopped up and right now what I'm doing is just putting a couple inches around like the epimidiums and the lung warts and making sure not to cover up the crowns of the plants so you can obviously see where the plants are sticking through and where the major plants are so that's something that's nice now uh, before you know you couldn't really tell where the weeds were versus where the actual perennial plants were and so this gives us a little bit more of a peek into that and i think it's turned out really good this is going to really help the soil health this is actually our third application of a type of compost that's natural back here we use some from the compost pile. We've used this leaf mulch and we also have used some um, used potting soil from some containers that had gone over and we were done with. And so now we are looking pretty good. We are ready for the winter. Things are tucked in and as these leaves compress, because they've been chopped up, they will still allow that air and water to get down into those roots, but we'll also give them a little bit of protection from any potential frost heave that can occur late in the season. If you plant this late in the season, what can happen is a frost or a freeze can actually push your plants right up out of the ground, especially in clay soil. So I think we are really good to go and I'm happy with the work that we've put in back here and I think it will pay off next year and I'm looking forward to doing more. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this garden video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the tools that we use, some of the ways that we help to improve the health of our soil, and just in general, what we do around the garden in the fall. Are you a leaf mulch user? Do you shred your leaves? Do you put them down just in a thin layer after they fall? Or do you leave them until spring? Or are you one of the people who likes to clean up all of your leaves and make sure that you put them out to the curb? Some of us like to pick those up as well and use them in our gardens. Well, thanks again for joining me today and we'll see you next time.